Okay, so I've just finished the design and I'm happy with the design and I clicked save web form. Now I click go to step two. And now it actually asks you for a name. So you want to give it a name. It would be good to give it a name um, regarding whatever is being downloaded because when you start building up a number of web forms you can track them to see which are the most successful lead generators for you. So you want to give it a sensible name. So Jamie's um, how to get clients to buy more from you is one of my web forms. I'll call it that. We Actually I can do spaces um, to make that more readable. Okay. If you want to do Facebook integration, so if people are logged into Facebook, if your target market uses a lot of Facebook, it's quite good to enable Facebook registration because it allows them to just click a button and say, yes, sign up with Facebook. So I'd suggest you do do that. Um, you just click the button and it says form with automatically adjusted to 300 wide. And thank you page. Okay. This thank you page, one I really like is the smart video version because this smart video version actually has a video and it says thank you for signing up and it has your name in the on the screen so it looks pretty swishy so uh, the smart video version let me show you what this looks like if I click preview this is the thank you page and normally a video will appear here see so that it had my name in it and it looks like the actual email that will appear in the inbox okay so and by the way you might not notice but that is trying to replicate that it knows that I'm on a Mac um, that also um, will probably be different if you're on a Windows machine so that's it's a smart video so it's a good idea to do that that's a smart video an already subscribed page just the basic version is fine and then we want to click save web form on this point and now once the web form has been saved we want to then go to step three which is how to publish to your website so let's go to step three now